what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video you guys are going to see one of the most bizarre ufo sightings possibly ever according to the sender this object was seen by three different people in two different states we're going to come back and take a look at this object as you're going to see it dive down into a pond unbelievable footage you're going to see here in just a moment but first over here at the home page of the website today's feature photo was sent in by carrie of a gold full moon isn't that cool thank you carrie really appreciate that looking at the goes x-ray flux over here at the space weather prediction center these are the most recent solar flares in the last 24 hours you can see there's been a flurry of m-class solar flares it looks like to me there's been six in the last 24 hours solar activity is definitely picking up here's a look at the earth facing side of the sun from the SDO spacecraft and here's a look at the sun from my camera right down here on the ground and they do match you can see the earth facing side of the sun is loaded with sunspots and active regions that are definitely active once again five m-class solar flares in the last 24 hours I want to take you guys now to this bizarre ufo sighting again according to the sender this was spotted by three different people in two different states Philadelphia in Pennsylvania and Arizona. Not quite sure where in Arizona, but here we go. The first part of this video had no audio, so I'm going to narrate through the first part of this video that was sent in by Melanda from April 12th of, of 2024. Not quite sure what time, but you can see it was just after dark. And one thing I want to point out here real quick, just for perspective purposes, this white light you see right here was an airplane. So this was at least a few thousand feet in the sky. And notice how far away it was from the viewer. Check it out. Pretty good ways away at least a few miles and the reason I'm pointing that out is because that tells us this thing whatever it was must have been pretty good size it is a very unique color of blue you don't normally see blue lights roaming around the day or nighttime sky but you're going to see it in the daytime sky as well apparently in a different state viewed by someone else not quite sure if this is out in Pennsylvania or Arizona either way it's very unique right there it just kind of went out of focus just a little bit this thing is moving very slowly and as you're going to see here in just a moment very quietly it wasn't making any sound didn't have any blinking lights appears to be several feet long whatever it is and it's a series as it gets a little closer you're going to be able to see there's multiple lights on whatever this vertical structure is and it remains vertical the entire time almost like it's got its own type of energy system it's not necessarily at the mercy of the winds there's winds up here at the the mid latitudes and the winds sometimes can be 50 60 70 even 80 miles an hour so this thing here doesn't look like it's being influenced by the wind very much at all and it's moving slowly across the sky and it's going to do something quite extraordinary here in just a moment unlike anything I've ever seen and we're going to take a close-up view of what it does here in less than a minute I just wanted to share the entire video with you guys so you could get the the full perspective of what the viewer saw once again either in Arizona or the Philadelphia Pennsylvania area so here's this large long blue light just kind of cruising through the nighttime sky and as it gets closer to the viewer once again it does something so bizarre that the viewer says this is kind of creepy okay here we go this part has narration Creepy, man. What the hell? Just out of focus right there. Watch what it does again. Stay over there.
เดี๋ยวยืดดึงNow we're going to zoom in and take a closer look at whatever this was dipped down into the water. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see one, two, three, four, possibly five independent lights that make up this large blue structure, at least four. This thing is several feet long, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of five to eight feet long, goes down into the pond very slowly almost completely submersing underwater. You can see the very top of the light. Notice the reflection on the top of the pond, dips down into the water. You can barely see the last one, and then it comes back up. I use this segment for presentation purposes to, to use with different types of filter techniques. This technique here is simply inverted. Light is dark and dark is light, and you can see one, two, three, at least four bright points of light that make up this long vertical blue light that was cruising through the sky that apparently had its own energy system. But here's the thing, if that would have been some sort of lantern, which it wasn't, when it went into the water the first time, it would have extinguished itself. So this went into the water not only once, but twice and came back out and appeared to be working fine. Um, again, I've never seen anything quite like this. Very unique. The, the sender, Melanda, said this was viewed in multiple states, Pennsylvania and Arizona, by three different people on April 12th of 2024. Here again, it dips down into the water. You can see the reflection on top of the water, and you can see the reflection disappear as the object disappears underwater. So that's not a trick of any kind. That actually really happened. Here's the first part of the video footage when it was recorded just before it got dark. And again, this was either in Pennsylvania or Arizona, but there it is. It's the same object in the sky just before dark. High up in the sky once again, several thousand feet. In fact, it's so high up in this video, it's almost difficult to see. I've adjusted the lighting and color just a little bit. That's all I've done. Uh, just to pull it forward, over here on the left, I zoomed in. On the right, it was a vertical video, so I just left it the way it was. Here I zoomed in, and they're saying, what is that thing? They're very taken back by what they're seeing here. Um, again, you don't normally see blue lights roaming around the, the skies of Earth. Blue is probably one of the last colors you would see. You see green, you see red, you see maybe orange from time to time, you'll see white. But blue is very rare. What was this thing? Did anybody else happen to notice this? Check that thing out. And it seems more active in this video, at least with regard to the, the lights being very active. They, they seem to be pulsating faster in this video. Um, it's more at a slight angle in this video instead of perpendicular like in the video when it was just after dark. Um, again, this is super mysterious. Not quite sure what we're looking at here, but this thing has the capability to go underwater, come back up, and then go underwater again. How about that? That is incredibly rare. Thanks for the video footage. Really appreciate that. If you guys have any photos or videos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website, earthwatchman.com. Look for this red banner that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there. Yeah.